we are back in Toronto with the Sony ZV-E10 and it is super foggy today so it should make for some epic shots. So we are back in Toronto and I have no goal or direction today, kind of just winging it. Had to work a job downtown and now I just got dropped off so I'm just going to spend the day shooting and some epic scenes. Like look at the CN Tower, it goes into the abyss, you literally can't see anything. Well, unfortunately my tripod just broke. I hope this isn't a sign of how today is going to go. I don't know if it's cold but this whole thing just fell apart and it's completely useless. That sucks because I do shoot a lot of tripod shots. Ugh, great start to the day. I've been here for 20 minutes. <laughs> So what I think I'm actually gonna do is find a city bike. They actually have electric bikes now, so that should be a blast. And because whenever I come to Toronto, I tend to shoot in the same areas. So my vlogs are kind of the same. So we're gonna switch it up today, bike in deep, and hopefully we can find some new spots. So we found a rack of city bikes here, but I don't think any of these ones are electric. So let's try and find an electric one. Fortunately, there was no electric bikes in that rack. So I'm checking the bike share app right now to see if I can find one. And I might even just pull an Anthony Panzer or something, just rip this thing around and hit some bike jumps or something. <laughs> Make for a good video. It seems like there might be some electric ones down by Front Street, so let's go check it out. Gotta love finding talented street performers here in Toronto. Here's a cool throwback for all the OG subscribers. Remember the staircase when the scooter kids were sending it down? I'll insert the clip here. All right, sweet, we found two e-bikes. Now we just need to figure out how to rent these things. All right, we secured the e-bike. I'm gonna quickly switch over to the GoPro Hero 10 Black. So how the bike share works is you pay seven dollars then every 30 minutes you have to rack a bike and then you could get a new one so i just made it to the first rack and i got out and shot some drone shots i'm sure i inserted some to the intro but these have to be some of the best drone shots i've ever taken in my life and deserve an extra montage so enjoy Well, I hope you enjoyed those drone shots as much as I did shooting them because I was smiling the whole entire time. Blown away. Might have to sell those as stock images. Made it back to the bike rack and unlock another one and continue this adventure. Back on the bike. Let's make our way down to the water. made it down to an Ontario place. It's actually been abandoned for a while. I didn't know you could walk around here. So I'm gonna shoot a couple shots, but I have 10 minutes to make it to the next bike rack. So it's gonna be a close call. I'm 
unfortunately I'm not gonna make it back to the bike rack on time so I'm gonna get an overcharge so I need you to do me a favor I'm so close to a thousand subscribers so if you're still watching please subscribe someone in your house go grab their phone subscribe to my channel because once I get to a thousand subscribers I got a very cool video planned let's just say it involves a little bit of traveling howdy folks future Evan here so unfortunately all my GoPro audio didn't end up recording I don't know if it was the issue with the media mod or the GoPro itself but during all these scenes I was talking over and it kind of pieced together the story and vlog I had some funny interactions even ran into this artist who subbed to my channel here's me running into him again in the tunnel that I shouldn't be biking down but at this point I was just trying to make it back to the bike rack so I didn't get a double overcharge all right just racked the bike it's now about 5 45 like I said I got dropped off here so I got to take the train home I think I'm gonna take the 9 p.m. train so still got a bit of time just gonna have a little granola bar and relax for a bit and then uh, keep shooting all right guys, quick change in plans. There's actually a train that leaves at 7.20, so I think I'm gonna take that one instead. I'm just gonna make my way close to Union Station now so I don't cut it close. 